I'm Valerie Beryl. I'm Professor of Epidemiology, University of Oxford. I'm a cancer epidemiologist, which means I study the causes of cancer, why people in the population get cancer. That's quite an interesting question. It's a term that I think Richard Nixon first came up with when there was a, first, there was a discovery that some uh, cancers were caused by infectious agents, by viruses, and there was an idea that maybe lots of cancers were caused by viruses. And Nixon put a lot of money in and he called it the war on cancer, and this is 50, 40 years ago. To pacifists who have cancer, I guess you'd say, to say, you know, a lot of the treatments that have been developed over the last few decades work very well and don't resist them. But on the other hand, don't imagine that you're fighting this war yourself. It's, it's, it's not really a personal war at all. And that idea, I think, is quite misleading. I think probably the worst thing that I hear quite often is that a breakthrough for the treatment or prevention of cancer is around the corner. It isn't. We've made a lot of progress with cancer, with cancer treatment, with cancer prevention, but it's all been incremental. Lots of small advances balance on balance have, have made quite big impacts, particularly for breast cancer. So it's been small breakthroughs, small changes that have been very powerful in their effects, but there's been no huge breakthrough and there isn't likely to be a big huge breakthrough. The common myth about cancer I think is people feel it's something that they've done and particularly if something's uh, something's happened in the last few years that uh, have been very stressful is to, is to attribute that to, um, to the cause of cancer and we really know quite a lot that stress doesn't cause cancer and what's happened to you in the last few years isn't an effect. It's, it's, uh, I think that's a misconception that's very widespread that it's something wrong that you've done or, or something. And often also that something that someone else has done, that there's something in the environment you can't see that's causing cancer. That's not true either. My poor body, my poor, poor body.